Hi, this is Mr. Jackson. I am here to teach another lesson to the kindergartners and first graders and make some connections to last week's lesson. So we had talked about how art often tells a story and this story is gonna be about you and your favorite foods. We're gonna connect again to skills of observation. So using real lines, real shapes, real colors to just use your eyes to make things look real. So I wanna show you a few examples of some of my favorite foods. Uh, I'm gonna show you kind of how I created this one. Um, often I would start with kind of the main part of your meal. So here's a hot dog, um, this one is a pizza, a taco, anything that could go in a bowl like macaroni and cheese, spaghetti, cereal, um, usually works well to start in a bowl. Here's a watermelon, um, this one's a pizza example. You could get out real food if that's okay with your mom and dad to look at to use skills of observation. I have some play food here of a pizza, um, a cupcake, some spaghetti and meatballs. So here are the meatballs that go on the spaghetti. But often it's helpful to look at something as you're drawing it. So um, now that the weather is getting a little warmer, I'm looking forward to doing some grilling, um, maybe to make some barbecue chicken or barbecue chicken sandwiches. So I'm gonna do a little drawing. I'm gonna skip the pencil part. I'm gonna use this for something later, um, just so you can see while I'm gonna draw it with marker. But if I were to do a barbecue chicken sandwich, I would think maybe about doing the bread or the bun that could go on top. Thinking about maybe details that I would see in the bread, maybe some seeds. I'll just fill those in with a little bit of marker. Maybe some rounded line to make that look round. Uh, I might have some lettuce on my barbecue chicken sandwich. Or maybe I'm gonna do um, some melted cheese. And since it's a barbecue chicken sandwich, I'm gonna do some barbecue sauce. It's kind of dripping down over this piece of chicken. Here's the chicken that I grilled. And often when there's chicken on the grill, it might have some lines on it that show where it's been cooked. And then maybe the bottom part of the bun. So I'm thinking about realistic things that I might see. Once you're done drawing it, I did it on a piece of paper because I'm gonna cut this out. If you don't want to cut it out, then maybe you're going to make it a little bit smaller and then um, draw a plate around it. But I'm going to do this one as a cutout collage to have, add an extra layer. So here are some color sticks. You could easily do this with crayon um, or marker, really anything. But I'm going to do lots of color mixing on this. I might think about those ideas we've talked about um, in the past, like coloring it first, mixing second, because that might speed things along for you. If we were to be doing this in art class at school, we would spend more than one art time on this. So don't feel like you need to rush, but I would maybe pick realistic colors like a golden brown for bread, um, maybe some green for lettuce, maybe some yellow or orange for cheese. Now let's move over to this one. I've colored more of it. So once it's all colored, then I could start mixing. So I might use this yellow and then mix it with this yellow. Or I might take this green that I used before and mix it with this green. So that's all skills of observation, making things look real. I use this golden brown. Well, maybe I'm gonna use some of this warm brown to mix it into the bread. So once you have everything colored in, I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna cut it out in one piece so that it's easy to glue to another paper. So I'm gonna follow that line. No need to rush, take your time, keep it nice and close. Put forth your best effort. And obviously I'm doing this pretty fast because I don't want you to have to watch this example for too long so you don't have to go as fast as me. Now once you've cut this out carefully, if you're doing collage, then I'm gonna glue it to another piece of paper. Always putting the glue on the back of the shape. So I would not put glue on this peach piece of paper, this yellowish piece of paper. I'm gonna put the glue on the piece that I want to put down. Now in art, I have said, I would rather you get some glue on the table and get the edges really good. 
Um, if that's not okay with your parents, then be careful not to get glue all over the table. Try to glue the edges good, but this type of glue just wipes up with a little bit of water. So I'm gonna glue that right to the middle of my paper. The only thing I'm using my, I'm gonna flip it over to it to rub the back so I don't smear my color. Then the only thing I'm using my pencil for is to make a big plate to put my other food on. So I'm gonna draw the rest of the marker and I'm gonna show you why I drew this with a pencil. So once I have that on here, then you can draw other things. I would often think about making my whole meal. So I'm gonna do maybe a cup. I've had students do like a straw in it. And you can see that I drew it right over the plate. And so I'm gonna erase the plate. That's why I drew it with pencil. So it looks like the food's on top. Um, maybe I'm gonna do a cookie or a cupcake as like a dessert. And this is probably more food than I would eat all at one time, but at least I'm gonna get a little bit more detail. So I might get this in here, erase that line. I love grapes, so I'm gonna do some grapes over here. So let's, I'll speed this up over to this one. This one has more stuff done on it already. I have to erase the rest of this plate. So I've got a drink, a fruit, I've got a vegetable with some carrots at the bottom, and I've got a dessert. When I traced the plate, I made sure to stop when I got to the food. So I stopped, and then I continued here, and then I stopped. So it looks like the food is on top. If I drew, it, drew the plate right over top of the food, it wouldn't look as much like observation. Then, once you're done with that, then you can start coloring things in. I'm gonna color in, kind of doing that same idea of coloring first, mixing second. So I might add some orange to those. Maybe I'm gonna do some purple grapes. I haven't done any mixing yet. I might have, think about what I might like to drink. Is it gonna be milk? Is it gonna be juice? Is it gonna be something else? If I'm gonna do milk, I can even add a little bit of white to this. Now, let's move over to this one here that has even more done on it. Once you get everything colored in, then I'm gonna use some more mixing. I'm gonna use maybe a different color of orange and mix it into my carrots. Or I might have, um, instead of grapes on this one, I've got an apple. So I might have this red, and then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this pinkish red. I'm pressing pretty hard. And then the last thing that I like to do is just give a color to the edge of the plate. So I didn't color it in here. You could. Um, but I just chose one color. And I'm just going to give a color to the edge of the plate. Coloring this all in blue. You could have a purple plate or a pink plate. Whatever you would like. And then once that's all colored in, I chose this blue. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this. So please try to think about some mixing. It's not a race, so take your time, think about your best skills of observation, and have fun creating your art, telling your story about what you like and what your favorite foods are. So have fun making art this week, and I'll post these pictures and this video lesson. Um, so continue being creative and have lots of fun.